Today's children's message that comes with your spark material that you got and in the kids' Sunday school is about the Ethiopian and Philip. When, and it's from the Acts reading that we didn't read this morning. But I'd like to reflect on that a little bit before we move into our adult message because, they, and not surprisingly, they connect together. So the story of Philip and the Ethiopian is one in which Philip shares the, the answer to the question, who is this person and why is this person important and the person being Jesus? And our spark materials are using this to talk about baptism. It's natural. And we had our Thanksgiving for baptism when we get to practice or play in the water. I always love baptism because I get to play in the water. But it's easy for parents and godparents and grandparents to get here for the baptism and stand around the font. It's harder to practice baptism in your home every week and all the time. But what do we have more available in our home than anything else? It's water. So when we help our kids think of God when they touch the water, what better message of God's love and what baptism is and what it means in everyday life? Now I invite you this week, scrounge out those baptism photos of the kids, or maybe your own. Bring them out. Talk about them. Remember what baptism meant for that child, especially with the ba- it was a little baby. Help the kids remember that baptism happened once because God loves us for always. And every bit of water can help us remember that. So use your time this week. Use water. Have fun. Play in it. Hey, we had rain. You can go dance in the rain. We're going to have more rain. And enjoy the water because it's God's gift and God's reminder of how much God loves us.